we begin a new chapter here with this video about vector spaces. We are going to define what a vector space is. A <coughs> set V is set to be a vector space, so we are going to define vector space over a field F. So we have a set V and a field F if V, the set, is an abelian group under addition and for each A in the field and V in the set there is an element AV in the set such that these conditions hold. They hold for all A and B in the field and for all U and V in the uh, set or in the abelian group. So these are the conditions. 1 A, an element in the field, times V and U, two vectors, equals AV plus AU. AB, two scalars, times a vector, equals AV plus BV. And A times BV equals AB times V, so they are associative, and 1 times V equals V. So the members of the vector space are called vectors, and the members of the field are called scalars. Here the scalars are A and B in the field, and the vectors are U and V in the set or in the vector space. Do not forget that V is not only a set, but is uh, an abelian group under addition. So if I have a scalar from the field A and I multiply A by V, a member from the vector space, we have here a scalar multiplication. Okay, because you're multiplying a vector v by a scalar. So we get here into a very first example. I'm going to do quick examples since this is not a course on linear algebra. It's only a chapter in this group theory course. So um, Rn is a vector space. You have, so Rn is the set where the vectors have these components, a1, a2, till an, such that ai is in R. So the entries here are real numbers. So this is a vector space over um, the field of the reals. Well, obviously the two operations for this is addition. So we have a, a, a vector here, a1, a2, an plus b1, and this is another vector. We are adding these two vectors, b1, b2, bn. Of course, adding, you add an you add um, each component, a1 plus b1, a2 plus b2, an plus bn. And here you have scalar multiplication, b times the vector a1, etc., an equals b times each component, b1, bn. Okay, so under these two operations, Rn is a vector space over the field of the reals. A second example is a set of matrices. So from the, the space of matrices, dimension 2 by 2, okay, these are matrices 2 by 2, um, with entries uh, with the, the entries are the rational numbers. So this is also a vector space over the rationals. 
under these two operations, adding mat the, it's the usual addition for matri matrices, a1, a2, a3, a4, the other matrix is b1, b2, b3, b4, so you add a1 and b1, a1 plus b1, a2 plus b2, a3 plus b3, a4 plus b4, so this is the usual addition, and multiplication is scalar, this from from the rationals, of course, B is in the rationals, multiplying the, the ma matrix, the matrix, so you get B times A1, B times A2, B times A3, B times A4. Under these two operations, the, the matrix is of dimension 2 by 2, which entries in the rationals is a vector space over the rationals, as we say. We say vector space over the rationals. Another example is the, the polynomials over the ring ZP. So you have polynomials with coefficients in ZP. This is also a vector space over ZP, as we say. Of course, P here is prime. Another example is the, are the complex numbers. The complex numbers, as everybody knows, they have the, the form A plus BI such that A and B are in the real numbers and where A squared equals minus 1. So the complex number, the complex numbers um, are a, or is a vector space over the reals. And the operations here are the usual addition and multiplication. Well, the usual addition and multiplication of complex numbers, of course. The usual addition in multiplication in the complex numbers. Now, um, I will give you a, another example. For the Bondman, probably, it will look pretty trivial for you. If you keep working hard on this, you will see that this is a very important example. Let us say I have here E, and E is a field. And let us say I have here a subfield. Okay, so F is a subfield of E. If this is a field, and this is a subfield, then E is a vector space over F. And the operations, of course, will be the operations of this field. Okay, if F is a subfield of E, E is a vector space over F.